Hello everyone, this is Serious Trivia. Welcome back to another episode of our Legendary Liu Bei campaign. This is episode 13. We pick it up from turn 97 in the spring season of 202. So, uh, new year here, 202 in the spring. We have some new characters to look at. Uh, we have Cao Chun, which we said we'll mention a little bit. Um, he appeared a couple times in our lore series. He is Cao Ren's brother, and he's most famous for being the leader of the famous Tiger and Leopard Cavalry unit uh, under Cao Cao. So very capable cavalry commander. Um, he's not so great in game though. He has clumsy, uncomplicated, and honorable. A bit of a shame, and there's no unique background treatment here. Um, so we're going to probably pass up on him. Um, the other characters though, let's see. Vane, uh, probably going to pass. Yep. Let's see. Wen Du. Wen Dun. Mm, 25. Trait's pretty good. Could be a spy. But Kong Rong's faction is destroyed right so he can't spy on us if he doesn't have a faction that exists yeah corona's of oh no nope. ah that's right there are neighbors to the west i forgot they took some land over here so we're gonna pass on him liu chi 17 year old just come from dong min's faction Huh, interesting. Let's see if any of them have any decent items. Nope. Alright, probably don't have to recruit anyone then. Wooden dog, we'll pass up on that. Reforms. We probably won't get the school out of the way. Uh, the private tutor and then we can get rid of the school. I don't think there's actually anything else we need desperately. And then we can head over here, so let's do that. And then we'll take care of all our buildings real quick. We can get rid of the school now. We're going to keep that in building in place, the yellow turban version. All right, let's get the marketplace going. All right, Dai is still going to see rebels. Ma Chao is over here taking care of it. Ma Chao Zhao Yun, no problem. Defensive army in the north. Giant rebel spawning. Originally, I wanted Guan Yu to come down and take care of this, but he might not be available. We're going to have this army come down then. It'll take us about two turns. We have military. Oh, no, 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 no. Not, not you guys. This army. We're going to march. Get here a little faster. Perfect. Yeah, the reason why Guan Yu is not available is that even though we did our, you know, we took the trade port, then we traded it for the um, lumberyard or small. We traded for something. We swapped, and then we swap all the way till we get the weapon craftsman, which is great. But Yellow Turban Rebels took it right back, so now we can actually take it again and do the trade all over again. All right, so we just night battle this. Um, why is there two? Oh, the rebel stack and the army stack. I'm gonna fight this and cut it out. I don't want to take any more losses here, so let's just jump in here. All right, that was an easy fight there. Now I don't want to babysit this because it's gonna be rebellion very frequently. So we're probably still going to trade it off. We're probably just going to wait a turn for replenishment and then sail away and trade it to someone afterward. Um, we'll see who wants it at that point. Hmm. Unhappy with us. Where are you? Wait, wait. That's not the button. Maybe we can just give you an item? Yeah, it's not going any lower. Alright. We took over most of the peninsula. 
We are trading with him, but he's not declaring war on us yet. He might, though. His entire coalition doesn't like us very much. We'll see. Um, originally, we wanted to attack Tall Tian's faction, but since Guan Yu's army can't make it back in time, we don't want to get into many wars here. So we're kind of stuck here now. Mm. We could just cancel the trade and trade with someone else and turn on them a bit later. It's definitely an option. Because right now it's hard to touch anyone just with the way coalitions are so intertwined. This one's an alliance. So if we go to war against them, we're going to war against Lu Zhi, Tiao Mao and Domin and the High Empire. Domin's pretty much done, so it's basically whether we want to go to war with Lu Zhi, Tiao Mao's old faction, and Tao Tian's old faction. I feel like we could try to touch Chen Deng, just because Bianzhang's a little bit far from us right now. Tight. Oh, they're pretty much gone. They're about to be dead. Cao Cao's faction, Liu Bao's faction... We already backstabbed him once. Zheng Jiang's faction. We also attacked him already. Yeah, Tao, Tao Ying is the most likely candidate for our next expansion target. But Chen Dong should probably die too. Let's preempt this by just canceling our deal. And we can try to sign a trade deal with someone else instead. Now, nah, no one likes this idea. It's also because he's part of a coalition instead of a alliance. Ah, Sun Ce. Let's improve our relationship. Oh, not the right one. This is Sun Ren's sister. We gotta hold out until Sun Ren gets born. Oh, she is born. Gets comes of age. Here, have another food. Well, that's really stingy of you. Gonna make it 0.5. Oh, wow. Hmm. I'll ask for cash then. Wow. That's uh, really bad deals here. Feels like, uh, maybe do something like this. We'll just give him two food. Wow, super stingy. Okay, fine. Okay, so in 10 turns, we can peacefully attack him. Please just go for the regional city. Now, 10 turns is a long time, though, so a lot could happen. Yeah, I think we're just ready to go to next turn. Let's continue. No deal with the yellow turbans? Alrighty, Taoyin signed a peace treaty with... Alright, really not our issue. Level up for being administrator, continue to go for administrator traits. And we're gonna continue to come down and attack them. I think they're slightly out of range, which is fine. We'll rest up here. They're not actually... Yeah, they're not actually replenishing. So over here... It's going back up because of the garrison, right. We can trade it to Lu Zhi. 
maybe just to help our relationship we can sell back now wait why can't we leave there we go Coral. Drowning yet. Yeah, we'll be back in another turn. Hmm. Technically, we should just collect tax here. I think if we try to invest in a tall build, it's fine. Beihai is not a bad place for it. Livestock farm is pretty decent. Wow. Well, they're warning us. Oh, that's a lot of that's a lot of men for a small regional city too. Hmm, pretty good commandery with the harbor. Alright, let's trade this away. Liu Bell still doesn't want peace, that's fine. Let's see, who's neighboring this? Lu Zhi, Yuan Yi, Yuan Shu, Ma Teng, Liu Zhang, hmm. Who doesn't like us? Yeah, Chenlong's gonna declare war on us pretty soon, I'm pretty sure. A lot of people don't like us, actually. Yeah, there's no one we can actually get anything back from. Maybe we'll just make a friend out of Ma Teng. Oh, we have a Forge Master. Did we just get this this turn? Right, just pay us a bunch of money. Let's get this over with. Um, try 500. Wow, 5,000, too much. You only have 3,000 something gold. What about here? He only has 400 something gold. Let's go. There we go. Let's make a friend with him. And let's see. Bruin officer, level one. Liu Belt's faction. We're at war. This is a spy? I mean, even if it is a spy... Oh, it's so tempting. Even if it is a spy, we're going for it. We got another Forge Master. Okay. That just means our heir will just have to pick it up. Um, so we get 30% from industry faction-wide. That's great. You can take this. Yeah, I'm gonna make everyone equip the items just in case we lose them. Okay. We'll let Ma Chao deal with this army here. Alright, we're gonna get them swap weapons. Someone made this request. 
where Zhao Yun holds the spear and Ma Chao holds Lu Bu's item. I guess visually it looks better on the map too. Alrighty. Yeah, we got a Forge Master. Great. And we did all the buildings. Liu Bei's army is ready to move, but we're not ready to fight them. They're really getting ready for us. Hmm. That's fine. We'll face them off. Let's get Guan Yu home soon. Continue. Alright. Another military alliance. Oh no. Liu Bao too. That means we're, we're probably going to get dragged into a war. Okay, that's fine. We'll give it to a strategist. Here, take this instead. Uh, you might be a spy. But I guess if we keep you happy, that helps us too. Alright, she's not a Burren officer. One of them is not. Yeah, he's not. But the other two people are, so he needs to move out, actually. Right, where do you think you're going? Let's wipe them out. Hmm, still alive. Release for income. I think we can have them come down and wipe them out. Should be able to finish them off. Yep, decisive victory. We'll take the night battle too. Alright, not so bad. We're gonna get back in our territory. Gonna recall him. Gonna put up our other Bruin officer. Hopefully she won't be a spy, but you never know. Let's get Guan Yu home. Oh, got blocked. It's fine, we can still move past it. Not at war with them. There we go, back on land. Our fervor is bouncing back. Neighboring counties. Alright, we need to make sure fervor does not return here. Maybe Pingyuan first, and then Bohai. There we go. Corruption? Yeah, corruption is still fine. Mm, we probably need to put a temple building up too. Yeah, this should be a tall build. Oh, just two turns. Okay, we'll do this, and then we'll do that right after. He marches army out. We should follow it. Because that's our opening. We can start planning the attack because Guan Yu is now back. So the north is much safer. Alright, that's fine. Invoke council, administrative office, move any character into the farmland, that's easy. Move any character into the farmland. Wait, can we just do this? Yep. Perfect. Administrative office, probably in Beihai eventually, but I want a temple here first. 
All right, let's just continue the next turn. Non-aggression pack with Tao Ying. Oh, I don't want to sign this. I want to keep the option open for us to attack them, so reject. All right, Dong Min sign a peace treaty. Okay, Yuan Shu vassalized someone else. Bian Zhang's faction. We got a weapon. Ooh, War Glaive. Perfect. Um, who should take this weapon though? Maybe him. He has a pretty decent one. Hmm, we all have good weapons, I seems. Guess we could give to... Alright, this is just Beren officers. I'm gonna kick her out. Yeah, she doesn't actually... Yeah, we might use her for assignments. And then we'll take him out because he's angry at us. Alright, we're gonna give it to Jiang Gong. Alright, there we go. Creative. Li Wei. Now, oh, this is a good spy. He's just a little old. But maybe we should. We can try to spy on someone. Oh, he's even older. Oh, okay, there's no one young, it seems. Yuan Sui. Wow, everyone's old. This is the 50, 60 year old party here. All right, but we're gonna we're gonna recruit him for the spy because he has quiet. All right, who do we want to spy on? We could keep an eye on Tao Tao. We can't touch him for, but he's hard to spy on. He has so much good traits against spying. Hmm. Let's spy against. Who has he has a grudge against Gondul? Okay. Maybe mm, he's a duke already. Yeah, let's keep an eye on him. He's developing a little bit too good here. Yeah, he seems to be the strongest one on the map too. Okay, we'll put a spy in there. Alright, if we're ready to defend here, and they're ready to defend here... Yeah, we need to take care of our fervor situation before it starts up again, just because our neighbors can't deal with them. Alright, now we go tall, and then we cancel this. They recall the army. They thinned out their defense. Feels like now's the chance to take them. All right, if we, if we declare war on them... The issue is they... I think they changed it to alliance. Yeah, they just upgraded it to alliance. Which makes him almost untouchable here. Unless he declares war on us. I guess Liu Bao is already at war with us. It, it won't be an alliance war. They might join in. 
Jung Jian will be the one closest to us. The other ones we don't really care about. Yeah, let's do it. This is our chance. Hmm. Or we can. It doesn't matter if we wait two turns or not. It'll just go down the same time period. Yeah, let's do it. We'll take care of the Shandong Peninsula. This is the untrustworthy Liu Bei playthrough. <laughs> Ever since that um, ultimatum we threw, we kind of just went crazy. Alright, this is not going to be an easy battle. Small regional city? At least they don't have that many men. They had three stacks, but they recalled most of them. Big mistake on their part. Mm, they have a fondness toward Liu Bei's faction too. Just unfortunate we're making this move against them uh, okay we're gonna just fight this then night battle it I think yeah I think we still want night battle we want them to route let's jump in here alrighty it's a nice coastal city so we have a pretty nice opening to attack from Focus on this wall here. Or we can switch sides, which doesn't really make much of a difference. I think it's still indented. Yeah, it's even harder from that side. So we're going to attack from this side. We have absolute range advantage. We're going to focus right here at this wall. Uh, the towers are all stronger. You can see they're the upgraded tower versions here uh, because it is a small regional city. Which is going to eat into our food reserve too. We're going to use a turtle tactic to take down the towers. And then we're going to throw these guys into combat after they ran out of ammo. Alright, I think we're good to go. Don't need the deployables. Uh, we're going to... Start with these. Hmm. Not bad. A lot of men on the walls. It's a good weather day. Fog is going to reduce our accuracy a little bit. Alright, that's ready. Burning. One shot. Okay. Great. So much for bad accuracy. Let's see how good we are against these arrow towers. Oh, wow. These guys are super accurate today. Fire. That's not bad. Not bad at all. If we can finish off all three with just four volleys, that's amazing. Oh, just barely short. Needs to be above 50, or else it'll actually drop every few seconds. Alright, so five volleys. Oh no, oh no, this is what we're afraid of. Oh, we got a hit. Okay, I got two hit there. Alright, so now switch to standard rounds for the wall. We need to pound a hole in this section right here. Three holes. We might as well try to destroy all the walls. Just so many units packed in. But we definitely need to clear this section for our units to go through. Let's go fast. <laughs> You think you can run? There we go. Alright, just because there's so many units here, we're going to break these as well. And you also need to break the wall so your crossbows can actually do damage, or else, you know, they can't do anything. Alright, that's good enough for entering. We're going to ignore this. Oh, they're stepping outside? That's a first. Wait, 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 wait. I've never seen this before. 
That's so strange. Uh, we're gonna let them live. We can move these guys up to here. We're gonna make the gap a little bigger for our units. Whoa! They're, they're actually charging out. Well, show them no mercy. We still have seven shots. I kind of want to hit these. But we can save fire arrows for them too. Alright, let's kill the wall. I'm gonna save their ammo. See how many we can kill off the wall. Four shots. Alright, we're gonna aim for here. I'm trying to light up this area here. Alright, we actually we actually hit it. Wow. The accuracy is amazing today. Yeah, the enemy archers only have three ammo each. We're gonna use the cavalry to absorb them. Can we actually hit that? Wow. Alright. Let's get a shot in on the spear guards. Oh, we're getting shot at. Oh, yeah, the cavalry. They're here to absorb some arrows. Now, which one increases... Yeah, none of them actually increases armor. You guys can just go at go to town go back let's see what they can do fire guys there we go uh, not at the wall hit these units yeah, hit these guys yeah they only have about three volleys each on the archers so we're just gonna let our cavalry tank that up Basically it takes no damage. Alright, they're routing. Time to move our crossbowmen up. They can just fire whoever they want. Not very important at this point. We're gonna let the crossbows finish up their uh, ammo. Oh. Some new archers. Oh, 
，一群懦夫。All right, crossbow's done. Alright, down to the general. That's about it. Kill these guys. Clean siege. Move these guys out over here. Lost one guy left. Move out. Uh, actually, move this way. Don't want to get shot by the arrow tower here. Yeah, the general's coming to us. Ah, uh, they're gonna get shot. Oh well, not gonna be an entirely clean siege. Let's see if we can actually hit him. Oh, there's more generals inside. Okay. I guess we have actually have to all go inside. Fire arrow. Take care of that. Take care of that. Alright, try to kill him. Oh, we're burning ourselves. Ah, uh, they're done. Clean siege. Slow and steady. Alrighty. Chen Gui went from having three stacks to becoming vulnerable to us. Uh, we're gonna show some mercy because he has allies. So let's go here. We need to quickly take down the farmland so he doesn't gather a new army. Alright, our food barely hang on. We're gonna plant food here, get rid of the school. We'll probably keep the marketplace. I would like to convert it. And then I would like to build an inn here. Or we can just go heavy food and get rid of this as well. We'll see. We'll figure it out. This won't be that hard. Okay, perfect. So once we wipe out Cheng Gui, we can, you know, start attacking Tao Ying without worrying about too much because Guan Yu is back. We need to get a assignment here soon too. Gotta make sure that doesn't build back up. Took forever to get rid of it. Yeah, everyone's fine. Let's continue. Alliance war. Yeah, figured. Cao Cao would want to start it. We're at war with uh, Liu Biao and uh, Chen Gui's faction, so it makes sense they will retaliate. Hmm, I guess only the four that's not included is attacking. Because we're already at war with the other two. They kicked them out. They kicked them out and they're still attacking us because we attacked one of them? Fine. I mean, Liu is still there. That's fine. Alright, Tao Ying signs a peace treaty with Cao Cao. Sure. Alliance of Cao Cao. Cai Yan, Liu Biao, Zheng Jiang attacks us, but then the line they left the alliance. Yeah, Chen Deng left the alliance. Liu Kan left the alliance. Sure. Okay, so we gotta watch out for Zheng Jiang now. We don't know where she can come out to attack us. I mean, we have an army here. Should be fine. Um, we probably just want patience. We also need income on him too. But patience first. We want to capture generals. 
Another ox, no big deal. All right, we have assignments. We know exactly what we're going to do. We're going to get our heir to... Wait, she's not... Is she the heir? Yes, yeah, she is. Okay. And then we can have... That's the only two places with fervor issue, I think. This one's finally coming down because Corleone's finally dealing with it. All right, we can counteract that. And then once this goes to zero, that goes to zero. These neighbors shouldn't be issues. We can't do much here because we don't own the commandery. Okay, fine. Um, so we have one extra assignment. That's a good one. Unless we need building assignments, which we might not need. Yeah, because most build-up are complete. Alright, figuring out what to build here. Uh, right now it's just a heavy food production place. Alright, food focus, food focus, food focus. We can keep it that way. We can build a ministry office just for the mission. And then get rid of it later. Alright, let's do that. Assignments. Who's making the most money? Liao Si, heavy industry income. Pure industry boost. Or we're going to do a mixed industry boost here. Another 15%, 50 commerce. But might as well go to a commerce commander for that, like Yul Bei Ping. Right, there we go. This makes more sense. Now, Zhengjiang could attack the northern area as well. Basically, we should hide our army, keep them here, keep them there, and just see where they come. Guan Yu is going to be kind of in between Henei and Pingyuan. They will stay inside Henei. Alright, this is our farmer. We might need him on assignment soon, since we do have some agricultural commanderies. Alright, regardless, we gotta wipe them out, which we will do right away. This will just be a delegate. Sorry, Chen Dong. You guys are done. Nothing against you guys, we just need to secure our rear. Gotta have the entire Shandong Peninsula. We'll just release. Alright, Shandong's faction is destroyed. See, I wonder if they will come to our faction. Even though we destroy them, there's a fondness between Shandong and Liu Bei. Alright, this should boost our food by quite a lot, yeah, because we have a lot of food boosting percentages and this increases base food. 26 food. Great. Perfect. Um, this building actually doesn't make much sense here. Unless we build it in as well. And then change this to income version, which is probably this one. Right now, if we just want food production and focus on peasantry, then we should get rid of this and build probably a temple just to keep things sufficient because population is also super high here. Yeah, let's pop in a temple building here. Alright, we're probably going to get coastal attacked. Because if you look at who's at war with us, uh, not ownership, right, we're at war with them, Tal Tal. So the only way they can reach us is through the coast. So we can actually start attacking Tao Ying just to secure the coast a little bit more if we want. Or else... 
I mean, we can totally attack him whenever. The problem is he's also in an alliance. Do we want to make that many enemies at one time? That's really the question. Unless we can trade with him. We are only we really only want this. Oh, that price is not possible. Alright, so let's just move our army down here, just take a peek and see if what we can do at that point. Yeah, I think we can just continue. Let's go. Alright, Lu Kan Dai, Lu Jun took over. Zhang Xi, birth of a son. Zhang Yan. Oh my god, Zhang Yan still I mean she's the spy, right? She's still giving birth to Zhang Yan's kid. Oh, Ma Chao has a son too. Good. Our spy is trying to infiltrate. We finished the building, got the bonus. Competitive versus competitive. Who do we want a better relationship with? Probably him, just because he's a burned officer. Yeah, let's side with him. Better relationship. And also, he's in court, so it's better if we, he likes us. The other guy is a uh, administrator. All right, Lu Jun's switched leaders, and then some people left. Sure, happens all the time. All right, a Liang rebel who got released by Yuan Yi is now deciding to join us. He has a decent skill tree. He has a really good skill tree. Pretty good skills too. We could use another... We could use strategists. Oh, there's a eunuch too. Uh, we could use him. Let's see. 18 year old. A beautiful and disloyal and artful wife. Hmm, someone could use a wife. We are trying to give we're trying to give our five tiger generals wives basically. So Guan Yu is married. Zhang Fei is not married yet. Maybe we could give Zhang Fei a wife. Ma Chao is married to us. Not us, but he's our son in law. Huang Zhong is hopeless. Zhao Yun will eventually get a wife. He's 34. Yeah, Zhang Fei's. Yeah, let's let's recruit you just to be Zhang Fei's what? Ah, uh, stay here, stay here. Zhang Fei, marry. Wait, it is her, right? Uh, we also didn't check whether they're compatible or not. Hmm. It is her. Lu Zhi Yuan Shu. She's probably Yuan Shu's daughter. Yuan Wan Qing. It's almost impossible to check. Uh, we could. We could sacrifice some military supplies. Right? We could shuffle. God, we care about them so much. Nope, doesn't get along. All right, so merge. You basically lose a lot of military supply when that happens. We can just encamp to build it back up. Yeah, unit transfer really hurts military supplies. But... Let's check. Oh. We can just recall her for this turn. This way we don't have to do unit transfers. Oh, Zhao Yun's wife. It's decided. Congratulations, you're getting married. And we're gonna summon her into your army, even though Ma Chao doesn't like her. Because eventually we'll get Ma Chao out of here. This way we have the husband and wife boost as well. 
Alright, let's pick a reform. Hmm. We should just play head over here and get the Silk Road. Or we can go up here. Commerce building. Salt mine. Jade mine. Mm, marketplace. And eventually get level 5 in buildings. This is probably more urgent right now. Alright, salt mine level up. We'll do temple. Temple here as well. Okay. Everybody's good. Let's continue to shift this army down. Get a peek. Right here. Also need to keep an eye on the coast. Alright, that's it. We're a max unity. Where are the high empire? Yeah, if we swallow up Taoying, we can just take these with unity for free. Right, that's for another time. Let's continue for now. Hmm. Liu Zhang declares war on us. Sure. Alright. Doesn't really matter for us. Liu Zhang declaring war probably means we'll lose our weapon craftsmen soon. Oh my god. Yellow turbans. Are this Gondul's faction? Wait, the flag is... Yeah, the flag is just yellow turbans. But yellow turbans can recruit Pei Wan Shao. That's interesting. I guess they do have a capital. I mean, it's hard to reach this commandery. We'll get a heads up before anyone tries to approach and we can just trade it away when that happens. In the meantime, we're just going to hope to get as much um, weapons as we can from it. All right, our kid picked up Dutiful. And uh, we're probably going to end our episode here. We're just waiting for Zhongjiang to come attack us and anyone to try to take a coastal stab at us. And once Liu Bei gets into position, we're probably going to get into another war with Taoying over here. And probably with uh, Telmal's old faction. We could probably recruit a new army with our economy. Uh, we can put Zhao Yun and wife onto the battlefield perhaps with a strategist. Uh, we can do them. We can put them in Bohai, shift this army down to Guan Yu's position, and have Guan Yu launch the attack against Chao Mao's old faction here. And don't just shuffle it around a bit because Bohai is our recruitment center with the conscription. So that's our plan going forward as we continue to expand both in the north and here in the central plains. So see you all next time. Bye.